we're we're back the next night to finish building and we've both changed into these fashionable bikinis. Well I got swim trunks on and Queenie Meows look a little more uh, fabulous than me in her bikini. She's actually wearing a bikini, I just have shorts, but Okay, we've re rezzed this um, ship out. Taking note of the time that I did that. And picking up what we left off. Let's see. That seems kind of funny that it's December, but we got this, um, we got our swimwear on. <laughs> Decided to go full screen just to make it easier, and I won't have to. I won't have to pull back so much. It's a cam out. Let me see. What was I gonna? Okay, so picking up. Where were we yesterday on this? Uh, dealing with this floor and getting into the second below level down there on our yacht. What we're gonna do? Is, now I was looking at the motor yacht script and it doesn't have a driving position in it. We're going to need a position, a driving position. <coughs> so our avatars will be nice and steady while we wear the attachments. And the easiest way I can, the easiest way I can think of to do that is we just double click and bring up the, um, a drive or a sit position where we're sitting nice and level and we just activate that turn off our AO if we have one we turn on that drive the drive animation and we'll be sitting rigid so when we wear the stuff when we wear the parts of this of this ship they're not they won't be all cattywampus and playing any which way so we'll just start, let's see. Just res a script, I mean res a script, res a, a cube, not a script. Res a cube, I guess. I guess about back here. Like I said, um, any like measurements or anything are all just roughly done through the avatar. Just want to walk right here and see eh, is there enough room as long as there's enough room for you to get by it's fine scoot it in just a little bit because we're going to have a wall overhang and cover actually we're going to make the wall now and we can make the floor later just make a cube drag it out see how this is going to be forming the lower of course, the lower room panel, so we're gonna put it to a. It's about there, so when we're inside, we have a nice view. We're not just staring at a wall. Grabbing the red square, I'm gonna stretch that out. And I'm gonna stretch it out right where this little seam is, right here where this hemi cylinder meets the cube. I'm going to hold down Alt and Cam around. Get it touching. You can see it right on that line. About there. We're going to get more into... We're going to get more into... Um, doing textures too. We're going to get more into using... Uh, texture... Well, not texture, uh, but a... Photography, <coughs> excuse me, photography altering software. Um, many people know of, of Photoshop, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use the free version called GIMP, and I'm going to put that. I'll put that in the description on a. I'll put it in a video when. Um, pretty soon, when we get close to. We get pl uh, close to actually using it. I just 
We did the shift drag a copy and just kind of eyeball it guesstimate for how much room you, your avatar will need some people have wolf avatars like a lichen werewolf and they're huge and they'll need more they'll need more room than other <coughs> room than others damn I had kittens in my throat. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. We're going to get to the back of the ship. We're going to res a hemi cylinder. Hemi cylinder. Let's line it up. Edgewise, Oop. line it up just this side of touching, but yeah, just touching so there's not a gap in there. And we're going to go ahead and cut this little object, path cut, and using the first line, we're going to cut this down to 500 just so it's nice and even like such and without checking the stretch both sides we're going to stretch it out some stretch it out again stretch it out some more about there should be good now click stretch both sides and grab the aft red square and pull straight out about about there is good and then go to the first taper box and hit arrow up 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 till about what about there is good and we're gonna, I'm gonna uncheck stretch both sides grab the blue square and kind of move it down a little bit about there is good hit position then I'm going to shift drag a copy of that over and looking up using my camera buttons I'm gonna look above that and then start oops uh, path cut I want to start backing that off till that evens up and you'll know if it's even or not because it'll it'll not be through the lines see if you go too much you'll go through the green line you can't see it right there or any of the lines so you just click till you get right on the line there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and cut down from the second one and oops down 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 till I see the red line and there we go now we have a mirror of what we just had made Drag that over. And just gonna line it up. About, about there is good. Hold down shift. Grab the other one. I'm gonna grab the side of the boat and hit link. I don't want to connect the floor because the floor we're gonna have to shift around and shrink to put our steps going down to our basement or not basement but the first deck so I'm going to go and grab this um, this plank here and let's see Oops. trying to kill these pop-ups as they come up and shift drag a copy on the blue line up Mm, let's see. And trying to see how to do the window. I guess to do the windows, what we're going to go ahead and do is hit stretch both sides. Highlight that, hit stretch, and on the green box, just push in. A texture, hit texture, give that a texture of blank select select the color as black select 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit stretch again. Uncheck stretch both sides. We're going to head to the center. Okay, I wanted to make sure that, that we had plenty of prim going. As you can see, it's going into that other prim. That's fine. At least we have enough. We have a little overlap, which is fine. Now I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the blue arrow and drag straight up. Like so. Right about there is good. It's almost to the top and not quite of that on that prim. Uh, cam up. Or cam as desired. Hit shift and shift drag a copy of that um, quote unquote glass. That glass prim. And now we're going to put, we're going to line that up to the halfway mark right here and the easiest way to do that is just to just head for find where the arrows are on the piece we're going to move head to the center of this piece grab the green arrow and slide it into place and just kind of look on either side just cam it's kind of hard to see on this side but you can kind of tell I guess about like that right there. Can we roll back and get the arrows? What you can always do too, if you can't see very good like this, you can just hit select texture. Click to select this texture and then just go to colors and just make it, we'll make it deep red. There we go. Hit position, grab our window and now we can maneuver that a little better or a little easier while being able to see exactly how much is on the other side. Let's tug a little bit over this way. And that looks good. And you can just go back to select texture. Touch that red mark that you had. And just select white and it will go back to wood. Or whatever texture is underneath that. Come back over this way. Everything is looking good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click one. Um, click one of the glass paint, the black panes, or the black boards, hold down shift, grab the other one, and grab the back of the ship, and go ahead and go to object and link that together. And we'll go ahead and do this front of the ship, and we'll do that by hitting our magic wand, waving that, and raising a hemi cylinder. It's facing the wrong way, so go ahead and get rotate. I like the blue ring. Don't grab your your cursor. Stretch out with your left click of your mouse button and snap to grid and rotate. And go in. There we go. Okay, go ahead and click on stretch texture I mean stretch the um, not stretch texture stretch the prim and just grab the green bars stretch it out cam around as needed and grab the green bar and stretch it to it just get the cam in oop kind of close and get it right if you look down the prim if you look down this uh, square prim here, we can grab this and get it lined up pretty darn close. And it's not quite to the floor right here, so we're going to go ahead and grab the blue um, square. And we're just going to move it down. There we go. Might be a little too much. You can kind of see the yellow bar, the yellow highlights of it. There we go to the floor cam around do it to the other side there we go now you can kind of see if we go over you'll see it overlapping so right about there grab top the top blue box and pull up to right about right about there right about level with this rest of this wall Okay, now, 
Now what we're going to do is um, stand on stretch and hitting stretch both sides. We're going to go ahead and grab the front of this this forward or this uh, not forward but left red square and pull out and pull out again. There we go. And then start clicking the f the left taper button up to taper this back. Go to position. S uh, keep stretch both sides highlighted, but we're going to go ahead and shift drag a copy and land it right on the top of the first one. And we're going to go back to stretch. We're going to stretch this one in just about there. Uncheck stretch both sides, grab the top blue bar and just move it like so till it reaches the top of the black panels and let me see I wonder we'll leave it at that taper that's fine go to texture whoops that's not what I wanted I accidentally click the advanced texture blanket and a color of black as well and while well, we're here what the heck we'll just go ahead and hollow this out right here like that to 95 that's good and we can kind of see let's see is this yeah it is matched up okay it is matched up to the side ones to the side pieces okay position grab that bottom hemis hemis cylinder it's gonna give me it's gonna give me trouble grab the hemis cylinder that's underneath the black one and shift drag copy of that and we're just gonna cam around and you can see where it goes if it overlaps so we'll just go right right above it like that there we go And we'll go ahead. Ooh, sorry. And we'll go ahead and stretch, stretch both sides. Grab that forward cube and just pull it back some like that. And we'll play with the taper. We'll taper it a little bit more like so. That's good. Let's see. We got one. This is the second second deck. So we still have. The top deck so uncheck stretch both sides and we'll just pull this up a little bit and if we need it anymore we'll come back to it hit position shift grab that window grab whoop, grab the other hemis cylinder click the side of the boat and link that and while you're at it you can go ahead and see we already linked those windows okay all right now what we got to do is I'm trying to think of how to do these window sides because they're not going to be long black we're going to actually have openings some couple openings in them so let's see so we can do is res a cube at the front right here Oop. okay let me just delete that because that's not what I meant gotta watch out too because it'll be on the last thing you've resed so from a heaven cylinder, we'll select the cube, res the cube right here at the corner. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes you won't res a cube and you have this hourglass. This hourglass timer just kind of waiting for the cube to res. Sometimes you can may we got a little bit of um texture glitch right here. It's no problem. Just stretch, edit link print uh edit link parts. No um, stretch both sides is unchecked. Click on this, and we're gonna try and click this bottom square and pull up just slightly. There we go. And back to our original prim. Undo edit link parts. Um, anytime you hollow a square or any shape, it's gonna hollow from the top. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate this. Grab the red circle. Pull out snap to grid and flip it south. Now we're going to start 
doing a hollow circle and we'll just start path cutting right now see we'll just path cut it 375 the other side we're going to do 625 the one side's already matched up to the side wall, so the other side, grab the other blue square and push to about right there. Grab the green square. See, it's got the stretch and the properties block showing the full prim. So anytime you see a small piece of prim like that, and there's this like big old square to stretch it out, that's why. It's because it's it's still. I mean, it's showing the. It's showing the the prim as a whole as it would be entirely untouched. But if your avatar is to come over here and walk on this, you would only walk on the part that we can see that's visible, the part that's uncut. Stretch that down like so, pull, comb up. Now you can hit stretch both sides and mess with the top piece without the bottom piece freaking out. Undo, stretch both sides. We're gonna cam, and I'm gonna see what this does. And this is the cool thing about building is you just play around with the stuff, just like this, to see what what it does and what you can do with it. Stretch it out a bit more. Maybe do an increased, an increased um, hollow. We got the hollow to 95 five okay so we go position cam is needed and shift drag on the red arrow a copy of this hit rotate snap to grid and snap that thing going the other way and then just match it upright like that stretch stretch both sides and now when you pull this side in so you can make like a you can make like a custom window frame like that. Now you got like this odd shaped window. And as a matter of fact, we can even maybe de hollow to about 85, de hollow that one to about 85. All right. Then you can hit position, uncheck, stretch both sides, um, shift. Um, while you have this one prim, we have this one prim highlighted. Go ahead and hit shift, and grab the other prim, and we're gonna go ahead and just link those two to themselves. Then hit shift and shift drag a copy of them. And this this copy is gonna have to be this copy is gonna have to be shrunken. And I'm just gonna get it matched up to the first window set there we go like that hit edit link parts click on the first prim leave off stretch um, stretch both sides have that unchecked hit stretch and go ahead and grab the red square and just begin pulling it in and go ahead and grab the second prim hit position and go ahead and move that one into into place yeah, a little easier to see because the arrows are a little closer to it and move it into place like that and still with stretch both sides undone hit stretch and we're going to move the rear inner position or you I mean you can move the um, the front too if you wanted the the one more curved like such but we'll do ours right about there close the gap between them there we go, got two window units, two window frames, position, shift, grab the other set, hit link, hit shift again on the green axis, pop out a copy. Touch the original copy, hold down shift and click the side of the boat and we're going to link that up. Remember we're not doing furniture just yet, we're actually just doing the we're just doing 
just doing the body and down here we get a really good view there we go it's looking good shift touch the side of the boat and hit link it's coming together nicely we're gonna have a little wall a little wall thing separating these two windows from each other the fore and the aft um, let me see Just kind of flying by the seat of my pants on this design like I said <laughs> I mean, you might have something in mind you want to really like really want to do I'll just do another there's another cube up at the front of the ship and we're gonna pull it over on the green access down on the blue access just to countersink it and right about here is about halfway is good hit stretch and you can always look back on you know, look back on the videos, or you can just look up in image search like uh, Yahoo or Bing or Google or whatever for yacht designs as well. Or you can might be a little easier to look up the the past videos that we've been doing on the SL yachts. And I said that that just might be easier because there you're actually. You can kind of see the prims that are actually making up the, their ship. As opposed to um, looking at real pictures and saying, okay, well, what am I going to use for this this prim? But, I mean, that's part of the fun of building, too, is trying to guess what shapes you're going to use. There's our roof, our ceiling, rather. Mouse, mouse wheel. Mouse wheel into it to see. Yeah, I mean, for me, that that's good. That's a good, it's a, kind of a tight ceiling, but it's somewhat realistic. It's not over, too overly tall. You see a lot of places in that cell just, they have all, uh, a lot of them have vaulted ceilings. And I'm going to check. Actually, I'm going to go back and check part of the video just to see. Where the heck I could be going? What direction am I going to go in with this with this uh, design? It's looking good so far. Little fat body ship. It's got really nice stairs. It's gonna it's gonna turn out really well. One thing we can do to kind of be fancy as well is to res a square, or res a cube, flip it on its side, get it lined up, get it lined up with the side here, like so, pull it out a little bit, up, cam to the other side. Oops, too much. Stretch it like so. There we go. And hollow out, change the hollow shape to a circle. Hollow out more. Oh, I guess hollow out all the way to 95. Path cut. to 625 and 825 grab the green green circle and rotate down and let's see if this works push it in place oops push it in place and we're going to have to Stretch this so it'll stretch on the blue, just so it'll disappear inside this prim and there we go. Sink it down a little, make it a little bit longer. 
and taller and narrow it in just a little bit more there we go we can have, kind of have a uh, rounded rounded edges to the ship's windows like so position shift drag that Get it all the way down here, rotate it, cam up, rotate on the blue axis. Use the red to get it into position, there we go. And we just copy. little window treatments to kind of give a little different edge to our windows also at the same time try and Open up your marketplace and try and locate something called um, All in the Mall. I don't know if anybody still. Yeah, that looks that looks better. Then we're gonna link all these guys together. Link them up. Cam as necessary, and on the green axis, we're going to shift drag a copy, taking our original copies. And linking them. Take the ship. Oh, I just got a Christmas card from somebody. From a very good friend of mine. Cam around and find those little stumps. There they are. Highlight them. And pull them over. And over and over came in between because that's where the arrows are going to be and we'll just pull them into just right about there is a little more just adjusting them from the outside there we go shift click the rest of the ship and now they're all part of it. Now we're up to 71 prim so far on the body. Not bad. And let's see what else. What else can we do? Mm. So we can go and start working on the the other walls here just press the cube push it into the wall sometimes it might be the time of day too that might affect your building and you can go to world and select a different select a different setting of day like sunrise and then see what the shading that may end up helping you out as far as when you try to move around items and you can't really see them we're going to leave that wall kind of thick and we're going to go ahead and push it right about to there Actually, what we can do too is so you can see how wide this is going to be. And we can stretch this accordingly about there. 
shift drag a copy of it so about there shift drag another copy but straight up hit rotate rotate it downwards Hit stretch both sides, stretch, and the red cubes top to bottom, stretch it out, or stretch it up and down, and then the blue will stretch it in, and we'll try and get it about the same thickness as that one there. Undo stretch both sides, pull it across on the green, pull it all the way to the wall. can't really see good so move it up all the way up till it is touching the ceiling there we go all right wall to wall it's covering and pull it down some start to hollow just a little bit not too much I'll get about 40 35 or so default as a circle start path cutting and see where the path cut takes us oh very good right where we want it to right where it needs to be and there we go play around with it to see how much further you got to go up or down there we go hollow again 35 take this number here and go 37.0 okay a uh, little bit more 38 probably 38 there we go shift and click all that stuff and put it all together there we go and click off now we have this cool little archway to walk into the next room with the windows looking good we'll go ahead and do those later as far as <coughs> excuse me as far as setting the alpha setting the alpha to them which alpha is just transparency getting them we can make it to where we can see out easily but people trying to look in won't be able to look in as easily yeah let's see guess in this I guess in this um, forward room over here we're gonna go ahead and do the stairs so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go come back here with Queenie Meow come back here with Queenie because I don't want to fall through the floor in this step but edit hit stretch and I'm going to just stretch the floor back to about there position shift on the red arrow drag a copy of it forward now whoops quite a big gap I'm gonna grab this floor hold down shift and I'm just gonna go ahead and link this floor to the ship and now this one I'm going to go ahead and stretch it forward you could use the arrows to move it forward but it's sometimes easier to just stretch as opposed to trying to arrow it forward oh excuse me okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead a position I like this back piece here we're gonna hold down shift and drag on the green excess out let everything go hit control Z and move that copy back into place where it was or where we got it from the other other copy hit on the green excess and just shift it over to the side some grab the original copy and green arrow from the other side and shift it back over some giving us the beginning of our walkway here 
just gonna line this up with this piece right there bring your avatar over to make sure that you're gonna be given a an adequate amount of space for an avatar to get down gonna shore that up just a hair like that I'm gonna hit shift oh I'm gonna grab select this piece and then hit shift and shift slide drag copy of that over and I'm gonna move this into place like so and then I'm gonna take the actually I'm gonna do this I'm going to do that again. Shift. With this piece highlighted, shift. On the green arrow, pull away. Let everything go. Hit Control Z. That piece moves back into place. Go to stretch. Grab the red square and just stretch that down to wherever you desire. Click the other wooden piece and move that one up as desired to wherever you for your um, to however big you want to make your stairwell and there you've made a successful hole in the floor without having to try and rematch any of these pieces up they've all been they've all been um, they've all been snapped back into position and they're all in perfect position so go ahead and adjust the floor a little bit more hit position shift and just start grabbing all this stuff and just click it now we have everything now all of our ships should all be connected it looks like it is so now it's all as one it's all as one piece it's all in one piece there's no there's no pieces I'm gonna go below deck here cam below deck there's no loose pieces so now we're going to go ahead and do the stairs downstairs press the square rotate grab the red ring snap the grid rotate it on its side and start a path cut Grab the green access, put it up like right here. 125 on the first path cut, and we'll go to 875 on the second path cut. I'm going to move this up so we can see exactly how wide this needs to be. Uh, there. And this is going to be a way to make stairs and half the time and half the prims as well that you would normally make stairs. Grab the blue and widen that out. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, that's overlapping. You can always see because you can always tell because of the, the highlights. Stretch that down. Stretch that out. Those are a little bit big. I'm going to push that in, push that back up a little bit, right about there. Cam below. Hold down shift and start doing this. Just shift drag, match it back up, touching to the one before it, and slide it forward but still leave it still leaving it touching so there's no gaps again hold down shift on the blue axis pull down let go of shift let the stairs touch drag it forward but still leaving it touching I think that my oh we got one more step to go. Shift, drag the last step. 
sink it down to a good spot there is good and pull it forward letting it touch a little bit hit stretch and stretch it down to right about there and there we go stairs shift grab everybody oops and link it to the ship and now we can go ahead and access down here and you can wall we can wall this up right here so we don't see all that all that crazy shapes going on so down here could end up being like a bedroom or something right here there's this can do whatever like a restrooms or we can even put like a garage down here if we wanted or anything you'd anything you'd like now for all this stuff here hit create res res a square cam in on the square push the square to the wall there depending on how thick you want this wall just depends on how much you're trying to hide all the way to the, to the tippy top like that and then you just wall that up all Alright, we got that walled up all nice and neat. Link. There we go. See, very easy, very clean. See, so we'll finish up top, then we'll come down here and decide where we're going to put these, these basement walls. Try and figure out what's going to what's going to happen down there Let's see as for this right here we have steps coming up we can have these ones facing backwards or we can have them facing to the front facing backwards might be easier that beautiful sunrise looks like a UFO kind of Ooh, yeah. Yawning, I apologize about that. Edit link once again. Not edit link. Um, I'm going to pull this guy out. Shift drag a copy. Stretch. Pull that all the way back till it's touching. There we go. And let's see how far do we want this to overhang. I guess we'll kind of shore that up a little bit. I'll right about there. Let's see. Stretch both sides. Push that in. Push it in right about there. Unselect that. Shift, drag, copy to the side. And go from box and turn it into a cylinder. And start moving this from the green in place. And start path cutting. To 500 and the other one to whoops 750 and on the red square pull that in stretch both sides and on the green we're going to just stretch that in as well there we go 
position, undo stretch both sides, shift drag a copy of that round prim. Rotate, grab the red axis and flip it like a door. And scoot that into place. It's gonna be pretty fancy. Okay, um and take this guy here. We're gonna go ahead and shift drag a copy front back it doesn't matter but control Z snap it back then hit stretch and we're gonna stretch one copy one way and the other copy the other way these are cool little shortcuts so you can use to make uh, building so much easier and I guesstimate how much room you need that's about good enough Shift, and we're just gonna take everything and just add it all together up to 91. Yeah, 91 prims. Okay. Now what we can do is See another another stairs another stairs set about where I'm at rotate and rotate once once more forward and once around I think that should give us steps when we start kitten cut oh it was backwards <laughs> green arrow straight up there we go number 125 on one end and eight oh, eight seventy five on the other end I'll work from the top down Pull it all the way back. Well, not all the way back, but leave some room because remember when you come up these stairs, you're going to have to have a little bit of a landing. And about there. Stretch out to the side. Watch that overlap. You can tweak on these all, all you want later on, or all you want as you're building, which that really makes the builds extra nice when you're got that extra. The builder is doing all that extra tweaking and making it look really nice. Now these steps here, we might not have them come out so far because you're going to need to get up them in a short distance I'm going to be crushing myself with steps in a minute down and forward down and forward. There we go. Starting to run out of room with these ones, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to pull this one all the way down to the floor. I want to try to maybe adjust. I'm going to 
just a little in there just so it's not going to be See, one thing we can do, if we got these kind of room constraints, is we can twist the steps. Hold down shift and collect up those step pieces, except for the very first one. And on the blue axis, see how this looks? Just give it a slight, like if you want to snap to grid, just go to the first, first tick. Oops, tug on it. Go to the first tick, let off on your left mouse button, hold down shift and drop off the first print, which is one click, and then go back that first tick and second tick drop off the next from the second to the third drop off the next step and then count one two three four on the next one kind of give a little curveness to the steps and actually we can probably go a little further than that six click the next steps ooh our steps are kind of disappearing you see that it's, I don't know why that is I suspect this region needs a restart just grab them and Twist them like so, and they're a little bit, a little off there, but just hit position, pull them over, drop off that one, pull it over, there we go, drop off the next one, kind of move it back, and then to the side, there we are. Drop off that one, and now we're on the last one, moving it slightly forward and back. There we go. And that will kind of, oh, and then, like there's a big old gap right here, so we'll just pull this back like so. Well, this one, pull them all back a little bit. And down. And cam as needed. And how's this pull? There we are. And then the end because we're going to be wearing all this stuff we're not going to be actually climbing up on these steps we're going to be climbing up on a prim that is going to be laid over this so it's going to be like we're walking up and there's going to be these solid prims so we can walk around as if we're walking on these prims we're laying down That looks kind of bad, but not too bad. So go ahead and res another prim, and we're just and just fill in this little landing spot. So we have a little place to walk on here. Stretch it out just to fill in this gap area. Well, what I was saying is um, about that all in the mall thing. All in the mall is a fourteen. I dare say it's fourteen thousand item 
Um, basically, it's a mall kit. It's a freebie mall kit. The stuff in it is some of it's no um, no modify, but it's it's um, it's copyable and transferable, and it's what all these freebie places are using for their uh, mall kits. That's how they're making their freebie areas. Is they're they're getting this thing called All in the Mall, and I encourage you to seek it out. It's about I think it's like ninety nine Linden to buy. Um, if I can get a hold of a copy of it, I'll just I'll put it on there. I'll put it on there myself uh, for y'all, but it's like a mall starter kit. But I mean, it's it's all. Um, That's what these freebie places have. And the freebies are bringing in people, but the money is actually being made at their little side, at their little side stores where you actually buy some of the nicer outfits and things, but all the mall kids got a bunch of old stuff. Oh, excuse me, it's all like 2002 to um, 2007. It's old stuff, old outfits that only uh, new people really wear. I mean, there's some seasoned people that are wearing that stuff now as well, but a lot of it's crazy stuff like it's got a bunch of outfits and whatnot, but some of the it's gonna adjust these right here with edit link parts just so it's stretched, give us a little more room. We're not sticklings. There we go. Stretch both sides to stretch these rounded pieces. Oh, I gotta stretch that thin plank. I guess right about there. But all in the mall has some some other stuff too. It's got a bunch of cars in it. It's got the wheelchairs that you can get. It's got houses. I mean a lot of stuff uh, hardly anybody uses. Ooh, excuse me. me. Yawning again. Not many people use I don't know how many people would use that all in the mall stuff. Some people are reselling that stuff actually for, um, they're reselling it in their own little, uh, marketplace shops. But some of that stuff we're going to actually use, like the furniture, some of the furniture stuff we're going to use, it has some love beds we can, we're going to use that to uh for part of this yacht and there's some other stuff it has like a pool table you can't really pull you can't play the pool table but it's a nice um it's a nice piece of decoration for something like this and there's a i love piano and it's got the um anytime i say something like that like a love bed or love piano it's got the it's got the um, the love menu in it, which I mean, when you're making when you're making your yacht, you can choose to leave um, the contents of that piano uh, intact. But what I'm going to show you how to do is to take all the sex stuff out of the piano, so you just have the piano itself. We're going to link that up, and then we're going to throw another hemicylinder out. And just as before, give it a path cut of, what was that path cut, 500? I always got to look, I never know. I don't know right off the bat what path cut I'm doing, so that's why I just mention it. So when you're doing it, you can be like, okay, I can just get right to 
you can get right to the numbers on that. Like path cutting, I do try to keep that accurate just so it doesn't look too messy, but sizing though is just like, just drag it till, just drag it till you see it. It lines up pretty much pretty good with what you want. Bring that up and it's sticking out from what we top. We did a top shear on this piece here. I did a taper. I did I did a taper of uh, editing prims, click that, did a taper of 40 and a top shear of 50. So I tapered it into both sides into themselves and then I overall slapped it back. This one here is going to click the first taper, which is going to give us, ooh, there's a gap. I need to fix that gap. There we go. And just like that, go ahead and we'll hollow it out to 95 is good. A little thin, but that's good. Position, shift, drag this thing. Oh, now you see I didn't. It didn't shift, drag, control Z, and the reason why is because I have edit length parts clicked. If you have that box checked, you won't. You won't make a copy. There we go. And now, oops. And now all I want to do. Okay, drag this over here. We're gonna just start path cutting it from this side. Whoops, going backwards this side to the green arrow or to the green line, but not beyond it. There we go. And then this side cut down to the red. There we go. And it's already tapered and everything, but. Yeah, there was places that had freebie, um, freebie full perm stuff. And some of those places are gone now. You can't, you can't get, you can't find that stuff unless you know somebody that has that stuff that they, you know, they don't mind giving to you. But I have, um, I have some of that stuff and I'm gonna I'll probably be putting it up on my I'll put it up on my marketplace for free but I've got some stuff that I got some stuff that you only see a couple pieces of anymore in SL and I'll I have like the whole collection like um like there's an ass car that you'll see in the if you look on Marketplace under free cars, there's like a black, I think it's the number 37 NASCAR. It's from like, you know, 2006 or whatever. But you only see that one, that one number of uh, NASCAR being given away. And I've got like the orange one, the red one, there's a blue one. And same thing with, there's a car called the TV3. Sports car, you'll, you'll see it in the, in the uh, freebie areas, but it's only like the yellow, the yellow convertible and the yellow hardtop model. But I have the one that's blue and one that's pink and red and all this. But, um, just swimming with our camera right now, trying to get over to this other side. You know, people um, nowadays in SL, they, they whine, they complain about that stuff, especially like about the cars. They really whine and complain about the cars, but, you know, you get some of that stuff and you, you can end up making some, some money actually though, if you, if you turn around and like, you flip some of that stuff and, you know, some of that stuff is, 
some of that old stuff is crap but if you flip it and put nice textures on it or do something extra with it make it worth something and then you can turn around and sell it are you included in something like how we're going to be sticking some of that stuff into uh going to be putting some of that stuff into this yacht maybe fixing up some of the te uh, textures of, of some of the stuff there man look at this thing this is my second night you know building this thing and it's like coming together quite nicely I guess it doesn't take, well, I guess it all depends really on how you are in a cell as far as building, how you, how slow or fast you, you build in a cell, but you reserve like a couple hours a day, like I think, I'm not sure how many hours I've spent on this so far, this might be like our third, like third hour, third or fourth hour. But like second day, it doesn't really take too, it doesn't take too much time to build in a cell. I mean, it all depends on how you, how you are at building if you're a pretty fast, pretty fast builder or if you're, you kind of take your time, but. Overall, it doesn't take uh, it doesn't take up that much time to build though. NSL. Now, sometimes it seems to, and then sometimes it doesn't. I guess it all depends on how you are as a builder, if you can build fast or not. But and I haven't worked on this ship. You know, like during the day, I'm off doing stuff in real life, taking care of stuff. And the only time you, the only time I touch this ship is when you're seeing what I've done so far with it on camera. And I'm raising, raising my hand like I'm in class. Um, that whole arm raising and twisting that your avatar does is just something that's default. Just a default animation when when you build. It's weird because he does it with his left hand. So he's like a left-handed builder. Mm. Oh, those walls can be a little lower. Lower that one down. Try to even up and lower this one down at the same time. Or it's about the same spot. Or about there is good. I'll call it a night once again pretty soon here. I'm trying to space these videos so they don't so they don't take up too much um time as far as like y'all watching them. I don't know if y'all like um videos that that are long like that, but uh yeah, let me know in the comments if you like that. If you like videos that go on for a pretty long time or if you like videos that are a little um, a little shorter, I don't want to go too. I don't want to go too far and have a video that's like six hours and you're like trying to watch it like that. That wouldn't be that cool to make something that's so long it's gonna turn off somebody from watching it. Spinning down this glass again. Pull down. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and pick up what I got and call it a night. So I'm going to click on this. Click on this. Click on this. Click on the ship. Cam out. 
move it. Oh, I am missing one piece. Control Z. Get that piece down there. Make sure the piece over here. Aha, both of those I was missing the link. This here, this one here, this here, this. And I'll come back to it. Take. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and cut this video here and pick back up because um, overall making this whole yacht, it's the yacht is going it's, to, it's easy to make, but by the time we get through, we're going to have like, like probably like six hours or so of videos and if I try to compile it all as one video, it would just, it would take too long. My computer certainly wouldn't, um, it'd take like a week to to make that all as one uh, movie so I'm gonna break it up into easily digestible chunks and this one I think is gonna be about 135 or about an hour 35 minutes hour 40 minutes I'm gonna keep them about that so they're not ridiculously long so I want to get a shout out to my subscribers thank you for subscribing and for those of you who haven't subscribed and are watching um, don't forget to like rate and subscribe like you mean it. And until the next video, this is Thomas XSL saying take care.